Hello chess lovers, Solon here and in today's video we are going to analyze a game where we will see the very rare Novotny theme. Earlier I've already published a game where we saw that marvelous theme and here is another example. Here is another example in a real game. Usually as you can see Novotny theme can be seen in chess problems. Arjun Erigais is playing against Shakhryar Mamedyarov and this game is from 2022 Meltwater Champions Chess Tour. Erigais he opened up with e4 to which Mamedyarov answered with g6 and so we have the modern defense, a hypermodern opening where black is allowing white to gain initiative in the center in hope of then to undermine it and emphasize the fact that white overexpanded too much. But as we can see, instead of grabbing initiative in the center, white chose a very humble setup, it chose the classical variation and you can't hope for uh, for a quick advantage by choosing this line. Usually this is not creating too many problems for black. But again, this can be venomous in some cases. Black has to be careful. Although in this game we can see that without much effort, black managed to equalize. Uh, c6, bishop goes back to b3, c5, up to the critical point. Nothing special happens. That's why I decided to go quickly through this game. Okay, black somewhat weakened his king side, and now white will try to use that fact to emphasize that fact. Uh, of course, in here, bishop takes e5 is not good because in the end of the day, white has this rook e1 move. That's why we have bishop e6, takes, takes. And f4, now white is trying to weaken opponent's king side, find weaknesses on the king side since black went for that g5 advance. But still, black is holding, the pawn on e5 drops, in return white is winning the pawn on e h6, thus creating more weaknesses on the king side. Rook e8, rook f3, the threat is bishop g3, that's why we have bishop g7, rook g3, queen h7, rook f1, and it was in here that black made a serious mistake, played rook e2. It looks like that rook e2 is a dynamic, active, attacking move, but yeah, this is allowing white to gain advantage. Better was either trying to neutralize white's intentions on the king side by playing rook g6 or choosing queen e4 move. Let's see what's the problem with rook e2. Here comes queen a5, white is hitting both on c5 and on a7. Black won the pawn on c2. Of course, you can't win it with your queen because there is bishop h6 move. So black won this pawn on c2, thus also protecting the pawn on c5. And in return, white won the pawn on a7. King h8. Well, already there is a threat hanging in the air at this point, and the threat is bishop e5. Although, let me tell you that instead of playing queen a7, white could already go for bishop e5. There is a back rank weakness. Yeah, strange that well, uh, white missed bishop e5 in here. I guess already they were in a serious time trouble. No idea what was the situation on the clock. We have queen a7 and king h8. But uh, anyways, white is winning. The pawn on b7 also drops. d3, king h2. Preventing any unpleasant checks. Anyways, bishop d4 landed. Queen c6. Rook c e2. And with his next move, white forced a resignation. Here we go, guys. It's in here that we see that amazing Novotny theme. Bishop e5 check and black resigned. Novotny is a theme where a piece is sacrificed on a square where it can be taken by two different opposing pieces or more pieces, but whichever makes the capture, it interferes with the other. So black resigned in view of the following lines. Now, if, for example, rook 8 takes e5, then the rook is now blocking the bishop's diagonal and queen f6 check is winning. Same happens in case of 
Rook to takes e5, again this queen f6 check is winning. And if bishop takes e5, then in this case your rook is no longer protected and with queen e8 check white is announcing a checkmate. That's why after bishop e5 check black resigned. A very very nice tactic by Arjun Erigaisi, which I hope that you enjoyed a lot. In the end, a thematic chess puzzle. The task is to win with the white pieces. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.